back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green Mega Man Edition. Today we're going to go through Seafoam Islands, and before I do that, I realized I forgot to do something. I forgot to say that this Cut Man is freaking beastly. Okay, now that I'm done getting that out of the way, let's get the Super Pal on. And we shall walk in. Now, there's a bunch of Pokemon like Seal, Golbat, and you want, you want to push these, um, push these boulders down. Because there's a um, current down there, and you want to make sure to stop the current with these boulders. And if you do that, you'll have access to the Arcuno. And there's a Pokeball. Ice Heal. In case your Pokemon are frozen today. Alright. Both boulders are down. And of course you have to reactivate strength every time you go down the floor. Now back upward. And down the other ladder. You don't want to fall into the holes yourselves or else you end up... Um, actually, you know, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea too much. That's over five. Where's the other boulder? There it is. Oh, you know. And here we have a seal. Not a bad place to train, though. So let's put um, Super Repel back on simply because, well, I don't want to go another two steps and into another battle. Also, I think I noticed there are two ladders going down. This one, there was one on the left. The big pearl. This takes us to Waterstone. Alright, what I want to do here is try to reach those two boulders. Let's go down here. There we go. And that should block the river below. No, we want Super Pal on. I really like the remix they did to, um, to this tune. And that looks like a royal mess down there. And see, we've already got one boulder, but we need to get the other boulder. So we'll need to go over here. And like it said, we shall fix this anomaly. Now we have blocked the current. So now it is. Now we can safely sail over to that to that spot and collect the Arcuno. Yeah. First, we gotta sail at the right spot. And put on another super. Because we don't want to get attacked by more Pokemon. Okay, never mind. You don't need to block the current to get to Articuno, but. But you do need to block the current to get out of here. And Articuno was at the lowest level, but. But you had to get through a current to reach him, so and we'll go through that mess. I kinda got annoyed at Seafoam Island the first time I went through it. 
So I decided to just skip all the mess and then go go to Cinnabar Island from Pallet Town. I don't think it's going to take um, that long to get to Cinnabar Island. Should be like a few trainers and then there it is.
picnicker. Yep, she too has water type Pokemon. I think you also find some um, beauties uh, out here. I think some of them have been replaced with Picnickers or something. Because Picnickers weren't in the original um, red, blue, and yellow. Switch, I'm gonna switch. <clears throat> Steel wing. Oh well. Thanks. I think Steel moves have a chance of raising your Pokemon stats whenever you use the move. Permanently, just t temporarily. Hello. No, not the pulley wigs. Cut them down. Cut them down. few times I'm glad that, that they're not evolved. That was a critical hit. Fish off with another cut. Get rid of a move um, for a bug type move later on. And here we are on Cinema Island. Hmm. So, yes. Cinema Island, the fiery town of burning desire. You know, it's kind of funny. They mentioned a the vault. Cinema Island ca canonically has a volcano on it. Also in that same volcano is where Blaine um, caught his Magmar, which he un unfortunately does not have in even the yellow version. And then most of Cinema Island gets wiped out um, by that same volcano approximately three years later. So, I'm kind of surprised there isn't any sort of, um, oh, apparently the, um, gym's locked. And he says nonsense. He's actually right about that, especially when it comes to stone Pokemon. If Sometimes, most of the time, if you evolve a Pokemon via stone, they're, they're not going to be able to learn any more moves. In the case of Golem and other Pokemon that are traded, some, some other Pokemon that are traded, they still learn the same moves at the same levels. Had I evolved Scizor a bit earlier, I would have learned a Metal Claw, but that's alright, I already got something awesome. This is where you can resurrect the well, this Pokemon lab is where you can resurrect your fossils and do a few trades. Why you want to trade for a Tangela is beyond me because you can collect, you can catch a Tangela just south of Pallet Town. And yeah, why would you want any of those? I think it's in the last room where the actual. Actual, um, blah, actual reviving takes place. 
Um, that's partly true. There's stones you can evolve into one of three Pokemon. Oh, Metronome. Yes, that is a lot of fun. Oh, I must tell you this. There's um a role play um, that I take part in, and there's a there's a friend of mine who who has a Pokemon. He does in a Pokemon RP. He has um a Poochyena that knows Metronome, a shiny Poochyena that knows Metronome, and at one point it actually uses Judgment. It is so awesome. So lots of people do. He is very important. Apparently I still have the Dome Fossil and Old Amber with me, so... Dome Fossil will be a Kabuto. Old Amber will become an Aerodactyl. I'm not going to bother with either of those. But Aerodactyl is really awesome. And so is Kab Kabuto, especially after evolving into Kabutops. So if you try to enter here, it says the door is locked, and it'll just turn you back away. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. This is Am01 signing out. Next time we meet, we're gonna go explore the Sinbar Mansion. We'll learn some interesting secrets. I'll see y'all next time.